Time for a bit of fun. I'm going to try and see if we can get the rear wiring loom uh, up through from the boot, along the top, and then down to the front. Right, this is um, some copper wire I've got. I came across this idea, my magnet idea, with a nut on the end of a string. It wasn't gonna work, the magnet wasn't strong enough. But the copper wire was stiff enough to poke uh, up inside the cant rail and get it to go all the way to the end there. So, um, I've now pulled through the first piece of wire, just tied and wrapped on the, um, the copper wire there. So we've got the very first wire through, and now I've got to get all of this through. Um, I'm just going to bind this up with some of that copper wire to make it as narrow as possible. And then we'll try and push, pull, feed that through. It's got to the end of the cant rail. Now we've got to go down the A pillar. I'm probably about here. Got a bit stuck. Um, I'll cut the video, see if I can work it out. Good news, what I've done is managed to hook it from here and then pull the loop up here and then because it's quite stiff I can push it and it's appeared here. So now we have the whole loom from back to front. There is one more difficult thing. I got to fish two wires through a hole behind there. There we go. Amazing. Very difficult to retrieve out of there. I'm not sure why they wouldn't give you an access hole. I mean, there is an access hole, but it's covered by the plate that mounts the light on. <laughs> so uh, I guess they don't intend on people taking them out. Um, but yeah, we could talk through this um, rear wiring harness. If anyone is um, interested in what anything does, so <clears throat> the end of the harness is this, which is for the driver side, well in the UK, driver side um, door sensor. So this has to run across the dash here and then it will be in the back of the sensor over there, just at that hole there. So you've got one of those, and then you've got a second one. So the way this works is it's um, it, put you down. circuit to earth, and it wires from here. You see this is purple and white. So you have earth at the end of the uh, driver's door sensor. Plug through the sensor. If that circuit's closed, you'll be earth in the wire, and then the same here. If the door's closed, you'll be earth in this wire, and then you see purple and white. <coughs> it's the purple and white one here. So again, so this is this is the live feed, but unless it's earth, obviously the lights don't come on. So. You need one of the two switches to be active to earth. Um, what else have we got? So we've got basically this bundle of connectors which join the looms. Um, that's all your lights, pretty much. So uh, I'm not going to go through every colour of those, but there they are. 
anyway so runs up through and then the first breakout of it is this which is your heated rear window green and yellow other side of it is um, to earth so not the big seatbelt mount there but the little tiny hole um, that's just where it screws to earth right so we're now in the boot we've got the cable coming down behind the um, C pillar there and then the first thing you've got is this plastic sheathed um, arm branch what this is is the, uh, the fuel sender right so you've got um, black and green okay so this will give you the level in the tank then the next thing down the line here so you've got the main light you can see the colors on there the main rear light cluster and and this one which is the uh, the earth line and we've got a pair of cables that we're not using on our car that's for um, a rear fog I think on the um, passenger side the next one red and green got rear uh, connections for um, tail lights uh, sorry rear number plate lights and then we just got an earth thing screw so that is screwing through the boot and then the final thing main connector and the single earthing wire and then we've got the two wires which are blue and yellow go down to the rear fog right you saw me doing the um, wiring loom rear to um, rear to front but I'm an idiot and I completely forgot this car has uh, rear speakers so uh, this needs to go on this cant rail on this side so I'm going to get the wire, same as I did last time, and hopefully you will just go in easy. I mean, it's a lot thinner and it doesn't have the um, halfway point that needs uh, pulling for the light. Ah, oh, just realised I put that the wrong side of that rail. And I've taken the string off. I got but try and do that again. Right, it's 10 minutes, I won't get back. Now it goes behind the rail and then pops out on the parcel shelf. Obviously the other one will come out over there. Just uh, finishing cleaning up the brake line and fuel line that go underneath the car. Um, she's a wire wall. This is the copper brake line. So I've done this bit here. You can see I'm just basically getting rid of all the old um, under seal and whatever that's on there don't need any protection really on the copper line um, and then the steel line for the fuel we will um, we'll just do the same but then coat it in, in um, black paint so I'll show you uh, show you that in a minute okay here we are then pipes all cleaned up come up quite nicely really So now I'm just installing uh, onto both pipes just some protection for where they uh, go under the clips and anywhere where they might bang against the underside of the car. Just in case you're wondering why we're bothering to fit the um, bits of rubber tube onto the pipes, this is why. That could get kind of annoying. Much better. Okay, found the battery cable. It's um, hideous. So I'm going to get the auto gleam on it. A few minutes effort, see how this comes up.
cable actually looks in pretty good condition. Uh, the P clips that we're holding it on <laughs> might need um, remaking. So yeah, I shall clean this up. Loosely fitted the handbrake there. So um, it's more sort of keeping track of parts and nuts and bolts really than anything else. Um, not entirely sure exactly what all the things are going to be fitted in, but uh, I think that's all the uh, front to back wires and lines. Um, so, not too distant future, it'll be rear subframe. I did try and put the ID plates on the car though, um, on the front. So, I'm going to get on, look for them, and get them riveted on.